Hey everyone, this is Jeff from Assigner. Just wanted to show you as an official how to fill out a game report. Some organizations will require that you fill out a game report after the game, and we provide a really easy way for you to do that from right within Assigner. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by clicking on the game reports menu. The screen is going to show you the games that you've recently worked with the most recent games up at the top. To create a new game report, you can just click on new report under the game, or you can click this button up at the top. Either one will get you to where you need to go. So we're just going to click submit a report. It's going to ask me which game I'm submitting a report for, and this is going to be my list of recent games. So just click on go. Now we'll just enter the score. So we'll say the score was four to two. If there's anything in particular that you want to report about this game, this is a spot where you can fill in uh, a narrative. If there was game misconduct, if there were flagrant fouls or anything that would need to be reported to your assigner, then you would be able to, to write that in here. If for some reason there was misconduct or something that needs to be reported, the easiest way to flag that is just to check this box here, has misconduct. And so what that will do is that, that will make it a little bit easier for your assigner to see that there was some sort of a problem that might actually need their attention as opposed to a routine report where there really wasn't um, anything that, that they need to, to pay attention to. If there was a change in the assigned official, or if there was an official that didn't show up, this would be where you could make that notation. It's an easy way for you to communicate that information with your assigner. So for example, if Angelo was supposed to uh, have shown up, but at the last minute there was a substitution, so let's say Matthew showed up instead, you'd be able to, to make that change here. And then this report would be flagged by the system so that your assigner would be able to see that there was a, there was a last minute change. And then it's just a matter of clicking on save. Uh, and then if you have other game reports that are still outstanding, so if you have several games that happen back to back over the course of a day, the system will, will automatically take you to the next report that's due. Once your last report has been submitted, it'll just take you back to this page uh, that shows the, the reports by game. If for some reason you want to go back and take a look at reports that you submitted previously, you can also look at date submitted, um, and it's going to show you up at the top of the screen uh, the, the most recent reports that were submitted. That's really it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us. Thanks so much.